Welcome to SDCom, the first true cloud-based on-screen takeoff and estimation platform designed for electrical and low-voltage contractors. In today's guided tour, we'll show you how to navigate through projects, upload plans, perform an on-screen takeoff, along with estimation and quote creation. Let's start by creating a new project and entering the customer and project details like customer name, bid due date, and project address. Let's begin by uploading plans for an upcoming project. Keep in mind, plans can be uploaded from your computer, Dropbox, Google Drive, or any web accessible plan site. Today we are using plans saved on the local hard drive. When loading plans, SDCom decomposes large multi-page files into individual pages for easy navigation. Now that process is complete, we can delete any unused plans. Let's go ahead and begin our takeoff. On the takeoff screen, you'll notice a set of tabs used to navigate between plans during takeoff. To the left of the screen, we have a takeoff menu used to access our material database, create new takeoffs, and manage existing ones. Let's start with the two port CAT6 cable drop with modular furniture bezels. Simply choose the appropriate material, measurement type, and takeoff color to distinguish from others, and finally click create. Now that we're in takeoff mode, we can begin counting items on the plans based on the takeoff type, which in this case happens to be count. Now you'll notice as we take items off the plan, the count for the takeoff is incrementing for every click or check mark. Next, let's use the linear to each takeoff type to measure the cable tray on the drawing. So again, going to our database, we have a pre-built takeoff for 12 by 4 cable tray that is supported with trapeze support brackets. Next, we'll need to set our plan scale to match the plan drawings of 1 8 inch. Once we set our plan scale, now we can actually start taking linear measures. So as you can see here, I'm going to start at the beginning of the cable tray and use the left click button to make turns and basically trace along the path of the entire cable tray. You'll notice that the cable tray is being measured in feet, but as you probably know, it's supplied in 10 foot increments. So we'll use the spacing property to convert the footage to the appropriate number of 10 foot sticks of cable tray. Change the 1 to a 10 and the spacing automatically updates to 32 sticks of cable tray. Let's go ahead and move into the project estimate. On the estimation page you'll see that materials along with appropriate quantities have flown right into our estimate. You can see labor for the task in minutes or hours, difficulty factor, quantity, unit costs, extended costs, margin, sales price, profit, and total labor is extended out. Below you can see subtotal pricing and you have the assembly picker that can be used to add materials that was not shown on the takeoff visually. So for example, equipment racks, grounding, miscellaneous materials, etc. Let's go ahead and create two groups and move the task into their appropriate groups. Let's start with horizontal cabling. And then let's go to cable support systems. Simply drag and drop the task into the appropriate group. As you can see, the material and labor totals are moved into the grouping as well, allowing you to show pricing by phase or section. You can adjust the margin for the task on a line-by-line -line basis. SDCom saves your previously used rates, but you can always edit as needed. At the bottom of the page, you'll find the labor costs, which in this case we want to change to a loaded rate of $24 per hour. Now let's look at the margins for the labor, which in this case at 35% are good. Below you'll see the project subtotals broken out the material and labor cost, sales price, blended margin, job cost, and profit. The next section allows us to add tax for material and labor or both. And in this case, we want to only charge tax on materials. Now let's adjust the project overhead, lost time, and job profit. Here's the sales total for the project. 
Now that we've finished with our estimate, we can prepare a customer facing quote with a header and footer comments. And finally, we can preview the document or download a PDF copy to present directly to the customer. This concludes our guided tour. I hope it has been helpful and we look forward to hearing your comments and feedback.